Well, hello everybody. Hello. I can't believe it, guys. Guess what? We have over 100 friends here on Car Chat with Chris. By, by the way, my name is Chris. And we're in the car and we're going to chat. And I, this is just a little side project I'm just doing just for fun. And yesterday I looked and we had over 100 subscribers, 100 friends. Shocking, but welcome. Anyways, what I usually do here is I drive to Dutch Brothers and I got to talk about whatever I want to talk about. And then I get some order and I tell you, I Dutch Brothers to tell you what I, I got. That is the gist of it. So here we are going to Dutch Brothers. Today's kind of a big day because Dutch Brothers just announced on Tuesdays it's double points. So they have an app, right? You put an app and every time you buy a drink, you get so many points. And they get enough points, you can get free drinks. And I, to be honest with you, I have a ton of points. And uh, I forget to use them all the time, but uh, every Tuesday now you get double points. So I'm excited about that. Uh, I am not picking up Amanda a drink though this morning because uh, she and her dad and her grandpa, uh, they've gone horseback riding and to rustle up cows. <laughs> I know, right? Can you believe that? Uh, her grandpa is a rancher and uh, Amanda used to go out there and work on the ranch all the time from like, 11, 10, 11, all the way until she was 18. Every summer she'd go out there and, excuse me, and work on the ranch. And her dad just retired. And her dad's like, hey, I'm going to go out. We're going to wrestle up some cows. And he's like, we're going to need some help. So Amanda got up early this morning and went out to their ranch to wrestle up some cows. I don't even know what that means, to be honest with you. When I say wrestle up cows, I don't know. I don't understand anything about horses and cows and ranch lifestyle. So she got up early to go. Uh, so we were riding horses and rounded up cows, I guess. And so I'm not going to be picking her up any Dutch bros this morning. But I do have Cobb on my little pup right here. She is going to get a pup cup today. And so, yeah, we're on our way. It's kind of crazy. I'm trying to get everything ready to go for um, Fan X. A lot of times people... So I'm the MC. <laughs> Let me kind of explain what that means. This is what people see. Right? They see me walk out the stage. They see me interact with the celebrities and I introduce them. And sometimes I like will sit on the stage with them and ask them questions and moderate their panels. <coughs> Excuse me, I got a little cough. Something stuck in my throat. And that's what people usually see. And everybody wants, most, a lot of people want to do that. So when I'm not, I've been doing this now for 10 years. Every, all the time, there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people emailing the director of programming that's the person in charge of all the panels say hey I want to be the new MC can I be the MC and um, that happens all the time so the th but the thing is that's all they see is just the fun part right the fun part of going out on stage and doing that they don't realize all the work so when I introduce a celebrity and they go on stage if I'm not on stage with them then I'm immediately off stage we're prepping getting everything ready for the next celebrity we're running around we are uh looking at schedules and working on uh, on timing and all that stuff. Well, anyways, uh, I've last couple of weeks, I've been in meetings. I've been doing a lot of Zoom meetings. Yesterday I was in a meeting and uh, getting everything ready. And this is the 10 year anniversary. They have over, they have so many celebrities. And here's the thing that a lot of people don't realize is you, in order to have a successful comic convention, you need to, you want enough celebrities there that people are excited and that they want to go spend money to get an autograph with them or get a photo with them. But you don't want too many celebrities because if you have too many celebrities, there's only so many dollars that can be spent, right? So if you have like too many celebrities, then uh, they, they all of them make a lot less money at their comic conventions and then they, that makes them happy. So you want to have a good balance. You don't want too few celebrities there because then the fans feel like there's not worth their time. So you got to find that perfect balance, right? Then on top of that, we have what's called the vendor floor. The vendor floor is where all the vendors go. If you have too many celebrities and everybody's just spending money on celebrities and they don't spend money on the vendor floor. So the vendors aren't happy. <clears throat> so you're trying to make the vendors happy. And then you've got like the local artists and the local authors and they're selling all their stuff. So I've been doing lots of meetings and trying to get all to make sure where everything's taken care of. Trying to make panels uh, that are compatible so everybody can be there and, and and have a chance to meet a celebrity and and have a chance to do things they want to do. It is a lot, a lot of work. And I only I I don't do the team does so much of it. But it's for me, it's just like um 
it's a lot of work. And that's a lot of times people always are like, they always see, oh, I think I can go here, you turn. This is the best way to get to the new Dutch, I guess. So, and I turn right in here, because remember the Dutch I go to is being refurbished, so they're going to new Dutch. Anyways, they, uh, they always have, um, let's see here, hold on. I'm turning in here. Um, so we have lots of meetings and uh, just lots of planning sessions and everything's getting taken care of. And so I always kind of smile when people are like, well, I'm really funny on stage. They don't realize all the work and planning that has to go into it. So, but the, uh, I have to, I do the, um, the main founder of FanX one time told me, cause uh, I just all these emails and stuff, just asking the new MC. He one time sat me down he's like, hey, he's like, I know there's a lot of people want to do what you do. And he goes, as long as I'm here, you never have to worry about it. You are, you've been with me from the beginning, you'll always be here. So that made me feel really kind of good about that. All right, guys, what are we gonna get today? We got a bunch of different options here for Dutch Bros. What are we gonna get? How about uh, Mocha Hazelnut Salted Caramel? Does that sound good? Uh, vanilla Hazelnut? Ooh, okay. How about uh, Reese's Mocha? Let's do that one. I haven't done that one in a while. It's been a long, these are all, for those of you just tuning in, these are all secret recipes that uh, Dutch employees have given me. And these are the first original six. I typed them up on a piece of paper um, and put them there, but then I got so many, I just started getting them on, keeping them on um, uh, the little post-it notes. So let's do, this is, uh, is what I'm gonna be ordering. It's called, a, it's a white coffee Reese's Mocha with soft top. And um, what is soft top? Soft top is this, uh, you know what? Should we order a freeze? I haven't done a freeze for you guys. Maybe let's do a freeze. I'm trying to think here if I should do a freeze or should I, I kind of want the Reese's. You know what, let's do a freeze. I haven't done a, we've never done a freeze. What is a freeze? A freeze is, uh, it, it kind of, it's not like a shake, it's, thicker than a Slurpee, but it's not as thick as, it's not ice cream, it's just a frozen. You guys ever had the frozen butter beer at Universal Studios? That's what it is, they kinda like, they like freeze the, the drink. So let's do a, a freeze. I think they have a pumpkin pie freeze. <laughs> we'll try that and see how that, if that works. And um, I guess I could probably do that, the, the Reese's and freeze, I don't know. I rarely get them. So, but I thought it'd be kind of fun to do here, to do this. Let's get a little freeze. So, at the other Dutch that I go to almost every day, um, I, I know almost every Dutch employee there. I know them by names, they're, they're like family. Now that they're having me come out to this Dutch, this is a different one, because um, we're doing the other Dutch. I don't know a lot, like this guy is about to take more. I've never seen these people before and they don't know who I am. I don't know who they are. So, it's a little intimidating because I feel like it's my family. I'm like, I don't know what to even talk to or ask them for. Um, but I'm gonna do a Dutch freeze. I think I'm gonna get a Golden Eagle. I'll get a Golden Eagle Dutch freeze. Golden Eagle is just a standard drink that everybody loves here. And if you ever come to a Dutch Brothers, you don't probably know what to order. I would recommend a Golden Eagle. Um, and that would be the one, I, I, it's just, a, it's just a, the, the best, so. Uh, they're getting ready to order. Might have heard a little ding ding. That was my cell phone. Amanda had just messaged me and uh, she just says, oh, she just says, I love you. <laughs> cutie, cutie. All right, let's get my app up here. All right, menu, home. Okay, I'm gonna do a freeze. Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you doing? Good. Can I get going for you? Let's do a, a Golden Eagle freeze. Size? Medium. Medium? And I could also get a, a pup cup. Yeah. Uh, did you want whipped cream or soft top on that golden? Soft drink? top. Soft top? Got soft it. Soft top it. Anything else? That's it. Dutch Bros app? Yeah. Perfect. There we go. And good with the one? Yep, there you thank go. You, thank you. You bet. All set, my friend. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So, got the little app done. The app is, is amazing. I love the app. The uh, Dutch, it's... They make it super fun. Oh, just got another text message from somebody. Uh, they um, uh, they just make it super fun, this app, right? So the app, they 
they um you get digital stickers and you're like what's a digital sticker like think of like as achievements like on video games i guess or whatever but like you get a digital sticker if you order a lemonade you get a sticker if you order a chai you get a sticker if you order a rebel drink you get a sticker if you order between such and such hours you get a sticker and so it's it's kind of fun and addictive and i've got lots of stickers let's see if i can pull them up here i don't know if i can even show them um let's see how to how to show this so fun so these are the stickers so you can see like these are a lot of different types of stickers across the top right now they have back for kids they have the brulee baddie so what's the uh congratulate oh i got the brulee baddie on ordering a pumpkin drink september love the grind uh if it's a uh, get into the app <laughs> i don't know there's just tons see there's tons and tons and tons of stickers you can get and it makes it kind of fun. So you just kind of go out there and just check out your, your stickers and see what you get. And let's see the, um, I don't know. I kind of forget about it. And then I go look at it. I'm like, oh, I have all these uh, sweet, sweet stickers. So I get all excited about it. Um, anyways, they're getting ready to come out here. Oh, that's not my drink. Sometimes you don't have to pull all the way up the window either. They just let you, um, they just get the drink and bring it out to your car. That's what they're doing. It's a good line's kind of long. Anyways, back to Fanex. Um, I, people always ask, do you get nervous? I don't get, yes, I do. I get very nervous actually, but not the type of nerve. People are like, are you nervous to be on stage with a, with a celebrity? Like Karen Gilliam, you guys know she, Karen Gilliam, she's on Doctor Who. She's Nebula in the Avengers games, like in, in Avengers and Guardians of the Galaxy. She's the one, the blue Nebula. She'll be here and I'll be uh, talking with her. People are like, are you nervous? I don't get nervous to be on stage with celebrities. That, I never get nervous with that. What I get nervous about is, are we having a good show? Are people enjoying themselves? Um, are they laughing and having a lot of fun? Am I being entertaining enough when I'm on stage that people are thinking it's super fun, but I'm not too entertaining because I don't want to take away from the celebrity. You want the focus always to be on them. And so I always am trying to balance of like, am I doing this right or am I not? So that's what I get nervous for. But most people, when they ask me, like, do you get nervous? What they're asking me is, do you get nervous meeting a celebrity? No, and not really. Um, and people are like, who's your favorite celebrity? I've met a lot. I met most celebrities that you probably would think Tom Holland, uh, Chris Evans. Uh, those are some big ones I've met. And uh, most TV shows, uh, the, almost all the TV shows. My one wish, uh, my one wish is... Um, if I could meet any celebrity, it would be Keanu Reeves. That's the one, like, that'd be the one I might get a little starstruck with Keanu Reeves. But other than that, I, I feel like I've done. Hey, how's it going? So. Howdy. Hey, how's it going? Yeah, there you go. A little pop cup for Cabo. Perfect. Thank you, okay. Yeah, one straw, please. Here's that for you. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. So I actually only recognize one person in there. She like, I'm like, hey. She like waved and everybody else like, oh, hey. I miss my other Dutch. So anyways, let me show you uh, Freeze. It's frozen. You got soft top. That soft top is that. It's the white stuff across the top. And then they put caramel drizzle on it. Ooh. Oh, so good. So the freeze, this is a perfect summer drink, by the way. It's not like when you drink it, I always worry that it's just gonna be like sucking up like chunks of like ice, whatever. It's not like that. It's like a super cold drink that, mm, with a little bit of crunch to it, maybe it's a tiny bit of crunch because of the ice because it's, it's cold. I rarely order freezes because uh, I get, I'm so very susceptible to brain freeze. I get brain freeze very, like, I just, I don't know. I get brain freeze sometimes just drinking cold water. It's crazy. So this will eventually give you, so I'd be very careful and go slow. It's like a brain freeze. But it is very, very delicious. And for some reason, uh, the, pow the, the flavor, bam, it is way more powerful on a freeze. I don't know, you like, you taste it. So this is very caramely. Uh, it's very caramely, like tons of, I hope you like caramel if you get this. 
a lot of caramel and it's sweet and there's a little bit of I, mean, I kind of almost like a smoky flavor I don't know it's delicious though one of the best well thanks guys so much for just listening to, me to chat brouhaha about whatever I will probably do one more video tomorrow then the next couple days I might not be doing so I'll be down at I might maybe just just talk in the morning as I'm walking around or something to, to you guys uh, because I have to get up super early to do these news things that I have to do so maybe I'll won't be in a car though but maybe we just continue on with uh, chat with Chris alright thanks guys bye